And how would you like to work for an agency that makes it their priority to protect their community while also educating them about ways to stay safe? Here now to talk to us about employment opportunities with the Central California Highway Patrol is Officer Gracelia Santillano James and Central Division Recruiter of Officer Rosa Archer. Welcome, ladies. How are Thank you? Thank you. Thank you so Thank much you. for having us. Thank you for being here. Grace, first of all, why should people join the CHP team? Uh, well, I'm going to be biased then because we're number one. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, I remember when I applied for the uh, for the uh, uh, job for the CHP for this career, actually, and during my interview, they asked me, you know, what is you looking for? And I said, a challenge. And it's a challenge that I got, <laughs> you know, but it's been very well worth it. And, um, and so much time has passed since I started with this career. But, you know, with that, I also brought my friend and my partner, Officer uh, Archer, so that she can tell you a little bit more about what is expected of a cadet or an applicant through our process. And I love that you threw it to Rosa already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, what does a CHP officer actually do? Well, in the state of California, we're responsible for enforcing the vehicle code, mm -hmm. um, taking crashes, um, DUI, um, you know, anything that um, violates state laws, we're responsible for. But you know what? That's not all you ladies do. You guys are ready <laughs> for anything, mm -hmm. really. Any yes. domestic um, violence call yes. and all that. You guys are ready and you guys are ready to perform as well, right? right? Okay, so what area does CHP here in the Central, well, the Central Division cover? So uh, we cover uh, all the way from Fort Tejon, which is on your way to LA, right. all the way up to uh, Merced, Modesto, Modesto area. Mm -hmm. uh, we have several offices throughout the Central Division, but uh, we have uh, officers assigned to each office, uh, but primarily um, Officer Archer and myself were assigned here to the Central Division Fresno area for now. For right now. Right? Yes, for now. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course as a recruiter. Yes. Right now we're going through a time that, you know, we just lost um, two first responders in the Valley. Um, do you guys think that it's harder to recruit someone when this happens or do you feel the community comes together and they just want to join and become more of a first responder? Well, I think becoming an officer is a calling. And if it's your calling, if it's something that you want to do, if it's something you're interested in, then it doesn't matter what the community thinks or what um, public eye thinks, yeah. it's going to be what you want to do. Exactly. Yeah, it's something that you're naturally born with, that you really want to give back to the community to be able to serve and to um, put your life on the line if that may be, you know, but at the same time, it's that, that kind of career that, you know, you have to have a calling for it. You really want to have to be able to do it. Exactly. Now, yes. I like the fact that you're saying the calling. What are those requirements as well? Because <laughs> right. there's some requirements, right? Yes. So in order yes. to qualify for a cadet, yeah. you have to be a uh, United States citizen between the ages of 20 and 35. Um, have no felony convictions on your record and have a high school diploma or an equivalent. Now, how could people apply? How does that work? So all they need to do is go to chpcareers.com mm -hmm. and click on the icon that says become an officer and uh, create a profile and apply. It, it's easy as that, right? But what are those steps as well afterwards, after they apply? Right. So once they apply, they're going to be signed up to take a test. It'll be a physical agilities test and a written test. Uh, the physical agility test consists of a mile and a half in 1335, okay. uh, 31 sit-ups in a minute and 24 push-ups in a minute and 300 meters in 70 seconds. 31 sit-ups in a minute? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You're shaped, dude. No, gosh, no. I think about it and I'm just like, oh goodness gracious. Right. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. We really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. She's dedicated her life to her